Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over what we're drinking through the wintertime. Let's get into it. Welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, drop some comments down below. Uh, what are you drinking this winter? And don't forget to check us out over on Patreon as well. Everybody gets to, everybody that's on the channel at a certain price group can win the lottery of sample stuff that we drank that month, including this bottle right here. Yeah. So Pat, we are drinking some E.H. Taylor small batch. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. It's not my I favorite one the of single it. barrel. I want the single barrel too, out of all of them that we've had so far. I think that one is by far the best. All right, Pat. So we're going to talk about what we're sort of drinking as we transition into winter. Yep. Really cold months, you know what I'm saying? So usually sometimes we get some higher proofs. Obviously, we're not drinking on the rocks anymore. We're drinking just full out neat now because it's just you don't need the ice, especially with how freezing it is up here in New England. Yep. So I'm going to start off, Pat. This is a brand new bottle for a reason because I toasted off the last one. Sagmore Spirits, the uh, Cast Strength Rye. I love this bottle. It is absolutely delicious. Um, eh. And for you, eh. I'm telling you, it is delicious, though. Uh, it's something that I went into a store. Somebody turned me on to it. They're like, hey, you really got to try this one. Tried it. Next thing I know, it's my third bottle. So, um, so another newer bottle for us, Green River. This is a weeded, right? Yeah. yeah. Weeded bourbon. Um you know, it's very simple, it's easy. I like it changing up from what I've just been drinking all year pretty much for me. I'm not a big, you know, oh, it's it's winter time, you have to go into this or have to go into that or, or whatever. I just continue to drink what I like. And uh, I think this has got some great flavor to it. And we just it's a great, I was gonna say, yeah, just crack that one. It's yeah. a great starter bourbon. Um, Absolutely. And yeah, easy, easy drinker. All right, Pat, <sighs> gotta have some Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Keeps you nice, keeps you warm, keeps you absolutely happy with its delicious flavors all winter long. Um, you just can't go wrong with this bottle. I think it's one of the most underrated bottles in the entire bourbon market because it's still, it's only $60. Mm -hmm. And it's freaking delicious. And it's got some good proof. This one was 131.9. Yeah. So I'm not Coy Hill status, but you know what? It's still a little much it's, for me. It's, it's right underneath it, but it's packed of flavors. So my next one, to step up my proof a little bit. 1920 a little bit warmer and that's it still love the flavor it's one of the ones that you know after 1910 you try 1920 because it mm -hmm. just kicks that proof up quite a bit more um but yeah, only to 115 it, but it's still still a good jump so yeah. it's you know the flavors of old forester too are very they're great um, year round yeah that's the thing like you can't ever go wrong with them and pat you know what while we're talking about old forester i might as well pull out one of my Basically daily drinkers. Old Forester. What would a video be proof. without Matt pointing out a video of his blue label Old Forester? I love these things. I would take this thing to bed and snuggle with it all night you long. You probably already can. have. However, packed full of flavor, great proof, just an absolute delicious pour no matter what. Like I said, we come down, I have all these bottles. I'm like, eh, I don't really know what I want to drink today. It's this. It yeah. ends up going to the too much proof for me. Right I I feel Old Forester drinks hotter than it it. I will is. agree they do drink because like hot. even even yes. the nineteen twenty is is like it's it's warm for me, proof wise. So I know you're gonna be like it's I nothing. I drink one forty. I'm a man. I have hair on my chest. Yeah, whatever. Never said All right. any of that. Listen, Pat. I know. however, anyways. Old Forester does drink really hot. I just can't get onto those just because it, yeah, it's 129 proof or whatever, but it's drinking in the upper 130s. For me, at least I feel. Sometimes, so. sometimes they definitely do. All right, my last bottle, one we just got into, and uh, I liked pretty pretty good, Midwinter's Night Dram. So again, a nice little change up. Act um, 11 was delicious too. Yeah, so. Just a nice little change up is all I'm looking for. And, uh, you know, this was a fantastic bottle. Thanks again for the, the hookup that we got on this one. From We got this from one of our Patreons, right? This actual bottle we bought ourselves. Okay. The other one that we have our backup we got from Nick down in Florida. All right. So. That's what it was. All right, Pat. You know what? I got to go to an old classic rare breed. 
I, I started, I was like, you know what, I, I wanted to, you know, get back into some of the stuff we started drinking way back in the day. And because we've had so many other bottles, we haven't really been touching this a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, the moment it hit my lips, I was just like, sweet glory. You say that I about mean, this, all of them. It's, it's totally not. You literally say that <laughs> about all of them. However, if I knew how to edit, I would go back and edit <laughs> all of our videos and, oh. and have you just be like, oh, it hit your lips and it's like heaven. It's like an angel singing. It's like something else. You oh, always say Patrick. the same thing over and over again. It's delicious. And needless to say, I've had it now three nights in a row because it's delicious. So you can't really go wrong with Surprise rare breed. your old Forester single barrels not getting jealous that you've gone over to the rare breed. <laughs> oh, Pat. They're all delicious, no matter what. Anyways, that's what we're drinking for winter. Let us know down in the comments below what you guys are drinking for this winter time. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and watching us. Everybody, have a good day.